Hello again. This is a video on how to move the um, posts that are currently in your in the news section <clears throat> and get them into the blog. So um, right now, for the time being, I've left that page in this side navigation so you can easily get to it. It's here under About in the press um, so that you can copy those. Oh, whoops. All right, so I guess what we need to do actually is, I told you I'd mess this up, is go to the current live site um, and go to in the press here. So you'll just have to be careful and keep track of each one. You might want to, I don't know how you want to do that, but um, you know, you'll just have to go into each one and copy the text copy. we'll come right here now since we're not editing anything we're adding a new one so we come like i said you use you use this left hand um, stripe to figure out where you're working what is called posts here that is the blog so you just come down to posts It'll show you all of the existing blog posts. You say add new. This is your main text area, so you can just put your text right in here. Now one thing we're going to want to do, especially when you're copying from a Word document or from another website, uh, you don't want to bring in fonts and formatting and such from your source document or your source website. So you want to make sure that before you paste your text in here that you click this button. You see when you hover over it, it says paste as text. You click that, and now you're in plain text mode, and you won't be getting um, any extra elements. So now we can go ahead and paste that in there. We still get some extra returns. We want to take those out. That looks good to go. Now it's got a title, so we'll want to bring that over as well. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to let me copy it. It's not going to work. Paste. Nope. So I guess that the titles are going to have to be... Maybe this one will let me copy it. It will, but then you're going to end up with all caps, which I don't think we want. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of retyping stuff, because uh, then we're just making an opportunity for typos, but that's what I'm going to do for this example. So, Pringle Creek, re Pringle Creek restarts construction with new green home. Not much of a typist, as you can see. So we've got the main elements there. Oh, I see. And so we've also got a link to the original article in here as well. Um, okay, that'll have to be added separately. Um, and we also have two images here. So we'll want to. See if this works. I want to name it something so we can find it if we're saving it from the website. We're going to come back over here. Right down here in the corner we have this featured image. This is the one so that it shows up when it feeds somewhere and also when it shows up in just the regular blog. So we come here, we say set featured image. It might be in the library already, but I don't really want to look for it because I don't know what it's called. So I'm going to come right here to Upload Files. I'm going to say Select. I'm going to browse to the desktop, which is where I saved that one. And I'm going to hit Open. I'm 
there's our image there. Let's go ahead now with the blog post too. I guess we also need to pay attention to the date. Um, so this item is it not dated? Well, again, I guess this is one of those things where you guys are familiar with the project and I'm not, so you might be able to come up with a date for it. I'm uncertain, so I'm not. I'm just going to leave it as today's date, which is the default when you go to do a blog post. Um, huh, that is too bad. Right here on this right hand side under publish um, is where we can put the publish date. So you can either post date them so that they publish later, which I doubt you would ever use, but in this case we can also um, date them in the past. So here is where you would come and decide uh, when that should have been so it can fall into the order of posts in the correct way. We're going to go ahead and hit publish on that. Now we can come up here. If I hold down the control button and hit view post, I can get that to open in a new tab. And there is the post. Now there's also another image that we wanted in there. Um, let's get that as well. Oops. Save image as. We're going to just say Pringle 2. We can come in here into our blog post, put it near the bottom, return. Um, right up here at the top, we see this button that says Add Media. So we can go ahead and click that. Again, if it's coming from your library, you leave it here. Since we're uploading it, we come to this Upload tab, we select, we find Pringle 2, Upload. As soon as that's done, it allows us to insert it into the post, and there is the image. Update. Come over here, Update. And here is our image. That's looking pretty small. Let's come over here and click on this. We can edit it. Right here it's got a size, so we can say full size. Update. Update. And of course refresh here. And there we have our blog post. Um, yeah, we can do a couple of different things here to format this if you want. We can also add some categories. Uh, let's actually go ahead and add a category. So we're adding a new category here because we don't have it yet. So let's go ahead and say add a new category. We can say in the news. We click add category. It shows up here. So it's automatically added it to uncategorized. We don't want that. We want it in, in the news. We hit update, and now when we come over here, it should add in the news to our quick links so that people can filter those. And it didn't show up. Okay, I'll have to add those. Um, I'll get them to add that in there. That's one of my notes. But in any case, we've now moved over one of these um, posts, and we've moved it from the um, in the news you know, specialty category into the main blog, and we're going to add a filter for it so that it can be um, searched. That is lesson number three.